How do you predict the three-dimensional results of rotating a two-dimensional figure? For example, what 3D shape would result from rotating this rectangle? In this lesson, you will learn how to predict the three-dimensional results of rotating simple figures by analyzing the effects of rotations. Before we begin, let's review two concepts. First, a rotation is a circular movement of an object around a center of rotation. Second, in three-dimensional space, objects rotate around an imaginary line, called an axis of rotation. For this lesson, we're going to rotate two-dimensional figures around an axis of rotation and examine what three-dimensional figures result. Hopefully, we'll notice some patterns that will help us predict other rotations. Let's start with a simple figure, a triangle. If we rotate this in two dimensions, it would move like this. But in three dimensions, we're going to rotate it around an axis. Here's our axis, bisecting the figure. Well, let's watch what happens as it rotates. Now, it's interesting to see that the edge that was perpendicular to the axis drew a flat surface as it rotated. And the other two edges, as they rotated, created a curved surface. So, the rotation of a triangle creates a cone if the axis of rotation bisects through a vertex. If we place the axis along the edge of the triangle, watch what results. The edge that overlaps the axis provides the top and bottom extremes of this solid, and is the axis of the shape. At the same time, as the other two edges rotate, they create curved surfaces, pointing away from the axis. Let's try this with a rectangle. Watch this rectangle rotate and pay attention to what surfaces are created. Do you notice what's happening? The edges that were perpendicular to the axis of rotation rotated, drawing out flat surfaces. The edges that were parallel to the axis drew curved surfaces. This rotation created a cylinder. So, what do you think will happen if we orient the axis a different direction? Here's that same rectangle with a different axis of rotation. When we rotate around this axis, notice what happens. Again, the edges that are parallel to the axis create a curved surface, and the edges perpendicular to the axis create flat surfaces. A cylinder is the result again. So, does that mean that every time we rotate a rectangle, we'll create a cylinder? Well, let's find out. What happens if the axis of rotation is oriented diagonally across the figure? Before rotating this rectangle, let's try to predict the result. None of these edges are perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So, as it rotates around the axis, we won't get any flat surfaces like we did before. Everything will be curved surfaces that angle away from the axis. Let's watch. Was this what you predicted? What is really interesting about this rotation is that some of the edges overlapped with others, but we're only observing the outer faces. So, what about rotating a circle? Now, clearly this is not an actual circle, but stretch your imagination with me. Let's think about how this would rotate. If this were a circle, there would only be a curved edge, right? In fact, rotating this will create curved surfaces, and it'll be a sphere. Of course, placing the axis of rotation tangent to the circle's edge will result in a different figure. In this lesson, you have learned how to predict the three-dimensional results of rotating simple figures by analyzing the effects of rotations.